pursuing an innovation strategy based on four S's. Scope, selectivity, speed, and scale. Let me take them one at a time, starting with scope. In a highly networked world, opportunities can and do come from anywhere. This means that companies like GM, which have traditionally relied on our own in-house expertise, must now cast a wider net to stay on top of the innovation game. Today we're leveraging our extensive global capabilities to identify and develop technologies around the world. We have research and development centers in Michigan, California, China, and Israel. And we engineer cars, crossovers, and trucks in North America, Germany, China, Brazil, India, and Korea. But it's no longer just a question of what we do inside GM that counts. So we constantly look outside the company for new ideas as well. To expand our scope, we now count on suppliers, startups, employees, and even customers help us identify the broadest possible range of promising new trends and technologies. We then apply our second S, selectivity. This turns our scope into real competitive advantage. GM was awarded its first patent more than 90 years ago. Since then, we've earned more than 30,000 patents. They've helped our, our company take a leading role in the first 100 years of the automobile and break new ground with technology like Lunar Rover's mobility system, the catalytic converter, OnStar, and the Chevrolet Volt. This is a legacy we're committed to build on. And we do that every day when we work to develop technologies that will define our second 100 years. At GM, we believe that any successful innovation involves two equally important steps. One, the generation of an idea, patent, or invention. And two, the timely conversion of that invention into a viable commercial product. For a brand like Chevrolet, which makes money selling products and services, invention without commercialization is of very little value. That means we must identify and pursue technologies and ideas that hold the most potential for creating value for customers while also generating revenue and profit for the company. It means being selective, placing bets, honing our focus. Steve Jobs said, people think focus means saying yes, but that's not what it means at all. Focus means saying no to the hundred other good ideas that are out there. You have to pick carefully. At GM, our approach is to focus intensively on five key technology areas where we believe important breakthroughs are likely to occur. Advanced propulsion, batteries, motors, power electronics, advanced combustion for gas and diesel engines. In other words, Technologies related to the propulsion of vehicles of the future. Connected vehicle. Technologies at the intersection of information and entertainment in vehicles, including human machine interfaces, voice recognition, cloud services, integration of personal devices, and others. Advanced materials, including lightweight materials, eco-friendly materials, phase change materials, forming technology the kinds of materials that we will see in vehicles of the future. Sensors, processors, and memory. Technologies that improve functionality or solve technical challenges like autonomous driving, advanced safety features, and others. And finally, manufacturing technologies that will improve efficiency and productivity because manufacturing will always be a core business for us. These are the areas where we believe that innovation is most likely to occur and where significant competitive advantage is more likely to drive long-term success. And our goal is to do it quickly, which leads to our third S, speed. So the big question is, how do we promote and capitalize quickly on technology innovations that occur in these areas? And this has led us to rethink the way we do business. 
I mentioned that we no longer rely strictly on our own in-house expertise to find great opportunities. Well, the same is true when it comes to developing them. Today, we look both inside and outside the company by pursuing a develop, invest, and partner strategy for every part of our business. GM is driving innovation through three sources of advanced technology. Developing it in-house with our global R&D and product development organizations. Investing in startup companies through our GM Ventures subsidiary. And partnering with external suppliers, universities, and others. So our decisions are driven by what's best for our customers and for our business. Whether that's to design and build in-house, or leverage outside partners. Above all, our goal is to develop technologies first and bring them to market fast. The final S in our innovation strategy is scale. Technology is little value if it isn't put to use on a large scale, or as I said, commercialized. In the auto industry, there's no one better positioned to do this than we are. GM is well positioned for leadership in the two largest automotive markets, China and the United States. And more than 70% of our sales are outside North America. Take the Chevrolet Cruze, which has more than 3 million sales around the globe since 2008. That's scale. And we're very excited to show you the next generation Cruze tonight. Chevrolet is sold in more than 115 global markets around the world, including fast-growing new markets. In every market, Chevrolet is committed to providing customers a complete lineup of vehicles that deliver great performance, design, technology, and value. And in recent years, the strength of our balance sheet, combined with our low corporate debt, has enabled us to invest more money more consistently in future products and technology. In 2015, for example, we expect, we expect to spend about $9 billion on new products, plant, and equipment. This is an increase of nearly 50% versus 2011, driven largely by our aggressive product launch cadence. It proves that bigger really is better because you have to have that kind of scale to make that kind of investment and expect it to pay off in the form of handsome returns. Investing in world-class vehicles and leading technologies is a key enabler to delivering sustained, profitable growth, maximizing returns to shareholders, and earning customers for life. Those customers are what fits in the middle of our equation with the four S's. It's really four S and a P. For at, at the heart of it all, right in the center, are people. The people at Chevrolet and across General Motors in our engineering, R&D, and design centers, our plants, our dealerships, our supply base, and above all, the people buying our cars, trucks, and crossovers. You can have the greatest strategy in the world, but without the people, to make it happen, nothing really does happen. Without people who buy our vehicles and turn into loyal customers, nothing happens either. That's why it's so important that we're putting the customer at the heart of everything we do, and that's why we keep saying it. Today, we're at the start of a technological revolution that is transforming automotive transportation and the lives of the people who use it no matter who they are or where they live. Much of it will involve a push to develop cleaner, safer, more energy efficient vehicles for a rapidly expanding global automotive market. It also gives us the opportunity to make the automobile more exciting than ever before. We're moving from an industry based on mechanically driven, petroleum fueled vehicles to ones powered by a number of advanced technologies and energy sources, most notably electricity. And the democratization of technology means that more people in more places around the world 
will soon be able to benefit from these exciting advances. Chevrolet is eager to lead these changes and offer innovative and purposeful technologies that help us, our customers, simplify and improve their lives. We're working hard to make it happen. And we thank you for the opportunity today to show you some of what we have to offer. Thanks for your kind attention, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon and the evening.